get into the topic for today, which is the best day to pay a credit card. Uh, now, some of you guys may know this. Some of you guys may like the reminder. Some of you guys may like some of the things that I say here because I'm going to drop some hacks in this video. Um, but the biggest, uh, the biggest thing a lot of people don't realize is they, they don't truly know when to pay their bill, where it won't affect their credit score. So let's start with the ground, the ground, the ground rules to this, and then stick around for the entire video, and I'm going to give you a, a hack about how to max out your credit card without it hurting your credit. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that at the end. First thing you got to know is there's two dates. There's a statement date, and there's a due date. Most of us are aware of the due date, right? Because the due date says, pay your bill here, this is when it's due. If you don't pay the bill, then you're gonna get a late fee, and then 30 days past your due date, or 15 days, depending on your credit card, if you don't pay in a certain amount of time after your due date, that is when the lender or the credit card company will report you as a, as a late payment to your credit bureaus and that will be horrible for you, okay? So a lot of you guys already know your due date. That's where you make your minimum payment or you make your full payment so you don't have any interest, right? Or you don't pay it and then you have a grace period there until it reports to your negative on your credit report. I don't like playing with those type of games, people. Make sure you call your credit card and see what is my grace period if I can never pay it on time what is that grace period? I need to know. What is that late payment? I don't want to do that, but I just need to know just in case. Okay. Um, what I normally recommend people do is, is set up auto pay for at least the minimum payment on their due date so you can set it and forget about it because life is busy. Okay. It's just a little strategy that I do. That way, if you don't want the full amount to come out, at least you made the minimum payment. So you could be hit with the interest, but you don't want to be hit with the late payment, right? Because it's really extremely hard to get late payments removed from your credit report. It can be done, but it's incredibly difficult because it's hard to dispute something on an account that's open, right? Very, very difficult, keep that in mind. Now, the other thing is, is the, uh, the statement date is when it decides your balance, uh, when it calculates any interest that you may owe, and when it reports uh, the balance to the credit bureau, okay? So the statement date, <clears throat> When the statement date ends, that's when all this stuff happens, okay? So you wanna make sure that if you maxed out, like if you have 50% utilization, you wanna make sure that you pay that down, not on your due date, but on your statement date. I've had so many people say, man, I, 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 I made my payment on time and it dropped my credit score when I was trying to get a home and I didn't realize that. So what a lot of people do is they say, well, I'll just pay my $5,000 payment on my due date. But if you want the best credit score, you wanna pay it before your statement date ends. Not on your due date, but before your statement date ends. Because that, when it ends, that's what's gonna to report to your credit bureaus. And it's really important to know that. Now, the one outlier to this is the Apple card. It's really wonky, okay? Um, the Apple card, the one, the two things I don't like about it is that, number one. And then number two, you really can't do like a balance transfer fee. I mean, you really can't do a balance transfer to an Apple card. It's really, really weird. The biggest thing that you have to do if you want to do that is you have to get balance transfer checks, put it to your checking account, and then pay your Apple card with your checking account. But trying to get the account numbers and all types of stuff with, with the Apple card is a headache. Uh, it's really wonky with that, so just be aware of the Apple card is the outlier to all of this, okay? So we have our statement date, we have our payment date, and your current balance is what you owe, right? So if if my statement date ends and it says that I owe $500 on my payment date, right? So my statement ends and it says, okay, you owe $500 on your next payment, right? During that time frame, if I ring up, if I max out my credit card, it's not going to report that until my end of my statement date. So here's a, here's a hack for you guys, okay? A lot of people don't know this, but you can literally max out all of your credit cards or your credit card and not be penalized or penalized and nobody will know about it as long as you return that money 
before the end of your statement date. You're going to need to know that for credit reporting because if you have if you're going after specific credit cards and you don't play this game right, you could end up having something report high utilization and you're like, "Man, I, I paid the bill on time. What happened?" No, you paid the bill on the due date. You didn't pay it before it reported to the credit bureaus because what reports to the credit bureaus is what's going to determine what's their utilization, what's their credit score going to be. So you guys need to be paying before the end of your statement date. Now, if you don't know your, the end of your statement date, you can look online in your online account. You can call it in. You can actually request your statement date to be a specific date. Sometimes you can do that with your due dates as well. Um, I like to have half of them in the first first of the month and then half of them on the 15th of the month. Why? Because it spreads it out in a two-week cycle so I can move money around if I need to. Okay? So hopefully that helps you. Hopefully that tip helps you out. Um, <clears throat> so some people like to know about this too because of the manufactured spending. If they do any manufactured spending on a card, they can, they can do the manufactured spending and then as long as they get it paid before the end of their statement date, the credit card bureaus the credit card company is really not going to have a problem with it. Um, I mean, obviously, they have a problem with manufacturer spending, but you get what I'm saying. Um, as long as that money is paid before that statement date ends, then nobody's going to know about it, right? But it will show maximum um, maximum on 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 that on the statement date. So that's nice for credit limit increases that you've used a card. Um, you like your highest balance, which is really good to have high balances on that because it just says, okay, on this card, the maximum balance they had was $9,000 or $10,000 or $20,000. That helps dictate your credit limit increase. Many people don't know that, okay? So my whole hack that I was trying to break down to you is you can max out all of your credit cards, never be penalized, given, and as long as you pay it off before the end of your statement date. Payment date is to make sure you don't get uh, interest, and payment date is also to make sure you don't get a negative on your credit report. Statement date is to make sure that you have the balance reported that you want to the credit bureaus, and it resets the cycle of what you owe. Okay, so those are really two important um, dates. Don't mix, mix, mix or mess those up. All right, guys, check out all the financial literacy videos, credit repair videos, any type of video you want. Check out the playlist, see if there's anything that fancies you, and binge watch those, and then comment. All of the um, videos that have comments on there, they're updated data points, there's conversation, there's questions being answered. Um, so this is an entire community that I'm trying to create, and the more that this channel grows, the more I can be a, a valuable asset to your guys' life.